Fortnite squad. Yo, what's up, guys? Worked right here. Today, I'm going to give you some of my tips on how to become a better mouse and keyboard player. Um, for people that are just starting mouse and keyboard, or you've been playing on mouse and keyboard for a few months, and you're just not really getting the hang of aiming and, and editing, especially in Fortnite, or you're just looking into mouse and keyboard, seeing if it's the right choice for you, if you're on a you know controller. So definitely my, my top, my first tip is definitely trying to get your aim down uh, over anything, getting your aim down, especially in Fortnite or other games like Counter-Strike. Uh, aim is super, super, super important. Um, building is obviously going to come in handy in Fortnite, but I think you should get your aim down first and foremost. So the things that I do to start off with aiming is I'll either go into Kovacs, which is a popular game that uh, Tifu and other high-ranked players use. Uh, it just kind of tests out your skills. Uh, and then you can really hone in on stuff, so if you need to work on your moving accuracy or you need to move on just stationary um, dots that you want to uh, be able to shoot on uh, just as if they were people. Another way I do it is if you don't have Kovacs or you play on PS4 and you obviously can't have Kovacs or you play on Xbox. In the Fortnite creative section, there is different maps you can use. Uh, a really good one is one by Beaks. I'll have his link in the description as well as the code in the description. Uh, he just made a new map with moving targets and stationary targets is actually a very, very good map. So I would suggest you use that. Or you could just look up any um, moving target map or Kovacs map for Fortnite. And uh, I'm sure you'll find a code in there. Those are really good because they test your Fortnite sensitivity perfectly because obviously you're inside of Fortnite and then you can get used to each and every single gun you'd like. So if you want to work on your snipers or you want to work on spraying with an AR, obviously Bloom is a huge thing in Fortnite. So spraying, you can't really get used to it. Just like in CS, like there's specific patterns. Um, Fortnite is much more reliant on Bloom, but you can always practice on getting your aim down. Uh, another good way is make sure you find the keyboard style that is really comfortable for you. There's a normal keyboard style where it's just regular like when people type. There's one that's a little bit tilted, which is my personal favorite, the one that I use when I do play video games. I feel like that's most comfortable for me, and um, I feel like it definitely works. It also gives you a little bit more room. And then there's the vertical 90 that a lot of players do use. This was originally started because at um, like gaming events way back in the day, they didn't have a lot of room, so they would tilt their keyboards 90 degrees, and that would help them with uh, being able to have more room nowadays. Obviously, everybody has their own desk and stuff, but that's where it came from. Players use this one, and they really like it. Uh, I believe some players like Poach and a few other players use that, so it's, it's all a preference. Just find out what you enjoy. If your favorite streamer uses 90 degree angle, try that. If it doesn't work out, try a little bit less tilted, and just find really what, what fits for you really well. So I personally like the slant, the slanted version. That's just what I've been using for a while. Super comfortable to me. So make sure you do find out what keyboard um, what keyboard angle really fits your play style and what feels most comfortable. It's all about comfortability. If you're not comfortable while playing, then you're probably not gonna play as well as you, as you can. So make sure you feel comfortable, you feel good. Uh, another tip is to buy a big enough mouse pad. Uh, some people have really small mouse pads and then they get mad when they can't aim or they get off their mouse pad. Uh, I used to have a really, really tiny mouse pad and I was uh, progressively got bigger mouse pads and I think that really does help just being able to have a ton of room without having the being able to have a ton of room without being worried about accidentally going off my mouse pad or not having enough room and that also gives you the ability to be able to change your mouse sensitivity as well as DPI with a small mouse pad you're gonna have to have a high DPI or high sensitivity just because there's not enough room but if you have a bigger mouse pad that gives you the more of the ability to kind of change your range between DPI or sensitivity so you make it much slower because you have much more room to um, put your mouse and then another way is finding your sensitivity this is probably the hardest part of finding your aim uh, I'm always tweaking my sensitivity recently I've been staying at 750 DPI with a 0.08 on both settings the X and Y for Fortnite but I know in CS I always change my settings in CS which is really bad you want to get on one and just stay on it but for some reason whatever in CS I'm always changing my sensitivity so that's something that you got to find for yourself there's no there's no guides on you know what's the best sensitivity for you it's all personal preference and if you think oh I'm it's too fast I'm not hitting my shots slow it down a little bit if you think it's too slow then boost it up a little bit it's just all just working on it in practice and then my final tip is just practice be consistent play as much as you can and try to get used to it everyone always comes to my streams asking me how do I get better how do I do this how do I aim with mouse and keyboard you just gotta practice it's as simple as that there's no special magic syrup serum anything like that you just gotta practice play get better that's the only way um, what I personally do is I like starting off before every time I play I'll usually do some 1v1s in creative just kinda gets me warmed up with everything it gives me more building editing and obviously aim 
um, if you want to go into like the editing map you know there's edit courses I'll have some linked in the description tons of edit courses or aim maps or you know there's some that I have where you just grapple around the map and shoot each other that really works on aim and movement so there's all tons of different maps you can do uh, so I suggest before you play especially if you're learning how to play mouse and keyboard you want to get better especially before you play make sure just to practice warm up a little bit and then go into playing that that'll definitely help you a lot and then again just practice 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 you know practice makes perfect and I really do think that helps I've been playing on mouse and keyboard since about 2015 2014 somewhere in there so I mean I'm I'm really used to mouse and keyboard but obviously I can still work on things I still need to work on my aim a ton just because it's kind of been lacking since Fortnite has a lot of bloom in it you don't really rely on your aim that much you just kind of rely on you kind of just rely on hopefully that the bloom will hit them and there's nothing really you can do about it um, except in CS it's a lot about aim spray patterns and stuff like that so I've definitely been lacking on aim and then obviously I need to get better on my building that's just something that I feel like a lot of people need to work on just just different things so if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, drop a comment, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you are new. I really would appreciate it. If you have any extra comments, concerns, leave them in the description. I'll try to reply to you as quick as I can. I'm always streaming, so if you have any questions that I haven't replied to you, please just pop in my stream, say what's up, or follow me on Twitter or Instagram and ask me on there. I'll be more than happy to help you out. I appreciate you guys coming to the video. Once this video goes up, I may or may not be live if I'm not live then uh, I'll be live shortly. I appreciate everybody coming to the video. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys soon. Have a nice one.